Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We made it at last. We're here in 3D. I hope I'm not on mute, as we would say in Zoom world. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? It's been a tremendous pleasure and honour to serve as your 118th president of this great and venerable institute. For those of us that were land-based, it seemed a mere inconvenience to be locked in our homes with our families compared to the tens of thousands of seafaring members who were now stuck on ships in foreign ports with no means of getting off their ships and to catch flights back to their families because the borders were closed and air travel had stopped. We hosted the first global conference for seafarer mental health and wellbeing and we continue to campaign hard for vaccines to be rolled out to all our seafarers as 900,000 of the 2 million seafarers come from countries where vaccine rollouts are not planned for another two years. A few months ago, we were shocked by the sudden death of Kevin Tester, who reshaped our marine professional magazine. I had the honour and pleasure to have worked with Kevin professionally as a journalist when he accompanied me on press tours of my Rolls-Royce sites in Scandinavia. I then worked alongside him at the I'm Arrest. It was so sad that he passed away at a young age and he left behind a team stunned at his loss and the world will miss his abundant enthusiasm and happy smile. Please join me in a moment of silence to remember Kevin and everyone else who's passed away during the last two years. Over the last four weeks, we've seen a humanitarian tragedy unfold in Ukraine. This touches us directly with our active branch in Odessa. Yesterday at the council meeting, we heard a very stoic and defiant message from Sergei Karolinsky, our council member from Ukraine. We reiterated our posture as an institute to remain ready to support Sergei and all of his Odessa branch members. So with that, I'll hand over to our new president, Alistair Fischbacher. Now, as my presidential year starts, I want, of course, to maintain the progress and ambitions of my predecessors. One thing about being the 119th president is that there have been a great number of themes and goals set out already, which have driven and guided the development of I'm Arrest. But the plus is that this process ensures that things do not stagnate, and each new president brings a new perspective and new energy to improve. With my theme of sustainability, among my aims are how to focus on integrating consideration of sustainability into the fabric of the Institute and its activities not as a layer, a checklist, or a bolt-on, but going to be beyond to make it as part and parcel of everything. Tonight, I will offer my reflections on why it's the best time to be an engineer, scientist, and technologist, and why it's, well, cool again in more ways than one. Ours is a truly global industry filled with great characters and very passionate people. We know by experience that diverse teams are proven to deliver better outcomes. So given your diversity, you have an important role to play in helping us translate or explain what to us seems blindingly obvious in a way that can be digested, accepted, and understood. For the first time, we've managed to decouple the rate of emission growth from the growth in transport work done, something we may previously have thought was not possible. In addition, it is noteworthy that over this period, the industry delivered efficiency improvements far exceeding those required by mandated regulations. And I'm certain that shipping will ultimately deliver on its decarbonization mission. Thank you very much for your time and attention. I wish you all a pleasant evening ahead and safe travels home. For those of you running a sweepstake on the length of my speech, it ends here. Thank you.